Christine Quinn is taking her real estate expertise to the Sunshine State. The Selling Sunset star was spotted stepping out along a scenic waterfront in Miami, Florida looking ultra chic in a strapless LBD and sky high heels. Quinn announced on Instagram that she has been hired to sell the Bentley Residences, a massive building that stands 749 foot high and more than 60 stories that features more than 200 luxury apartments. Quinn, 33, struck a few poses while strolling along a dock on that Miami waterfront. Her mini dress was all about showcasing her statuesque 5FT9 and figure with its leggy design. The realtor also donned a pair of gold open toe heels that matched perfectly with her gold handbag. And on this day she had her dyed blonde tresses styled straight and sleek, just past her shoulders with a part in the middle. Quinn sizzled in a curve clinging pink mini dress in a series of snaps that she posted on her Instagram page on Friday. She's selling Miami now, she wrote in the caption, in a reference to her being hired to sell the luxury Bentley residences in Miami. The realtor matched her sizzling pink number with a stylish purse, and had her blonde locks styled in the same straight and sleek style. At one point, she kneeled down for a few photos, which included her flinging her head to the side in a playful manner. Later in the evening on Saturday, Quinn revealed her deal to sell properties at the Bentley Residences. So honored to be selling the Bentley Residences in Miami with Real Open, she wrote across the bottom of a video she posted on her Instagram stories. In the clip, which appears to be taken during meetings with the client, she can be seen wearing that very same black mini dress. One of the unique perks of the building is a patented car elevator that's at the core of the building. Homes will have an in-unit multi-car garage, a private balcony, pool, sauna and outdoor shower, along with gorgeous ocean and bayside views. The amenities will include a gym, spa, whiskey bar and restaurant, according to the